So welcome back to another video. Today's video is a house tour, um, an updated house tour if you will. I've been wanting to do this house tour for a while now. So yeah, today is perfect because it's so sunny and the light is just, it looks great. Um, I've done another house tour before but I still keep on getting questions of where I got some of the things that uh, you guys usually see when I'm maybe vlogging or making a video so I thought let me do, do this updated house tour and mention where every where I got everything from I'm also going to be mentioning prices so in case you're watching and you just want to buy something similar and you want to know the the price I'm going to be mentioning prices I'll also drop the, the contacts of some of the things that you guys are going to see so that it can be helpful to you as you're watching you just have this information so yeah let's get started and before we do that please like the video you guys when i ask you to like you actually do so i said i'm not going to be ashamed to ask you to like the videos so kindly like the video subscribe if you haven't like and just leave a nice comment and i'll really appreciate so yeah let's get started all right you guys so we'll start here um here at the door we have two curtains as you can see and they go all the way down and then this other one is a window but i've put like a carpet ah not a carpet i've put a curtain that goes all the way down i got these two curtains they're actually four i have others at the other window i got them from easily and they were going for seven thousand Honestly, I had a budget of 5000 and I didn't want to add anything, but I got there and yeah, price Ikaruka too. So I ended up spending 7000 for everything, even the two holes, even the, the round things because they do all that in Isili. So yeah, honestly, curtains are expensive. So have that in mind. If you're starting life and you want to buy some really nice curtains, just save up and have like 7 to 10K uh, for a budget. It also depends on the type of curtains you want. Kuna zenyeni cheap, kuna zenyeni expensive. So yeah, I'm just giving the average price so that you can have an idea when you're going to get some curtains. So another tip is I feel like brighter curtains brighten the house so much. Like either white or cream curtains really transform a space. Um, if you're trying to look for curtains, just avoid the ones that have patterns. Those ones are the worst. Yeah, so go for a plain color and... Um, more specifically white and you'll thank me later because i've seen white curtains and they really transform a space so yeah for me i wanted sheer curtains plain sheer curtains and that's what i got i don't know why i'm even calling them curtains they are sheer curtains but they are like the heavy heavy shears so yeah and let me get back so that you can see how that place looks like and yeah and they go all the way down i love them and then at the corner i have some shoes that i grab when i'm going out so i place them here there and then over here i have some house shoes because like i've said so many times my house tends to get so so cold but right now it's a bit warm and i'm happy about that and then this is a toilet i'm going to show you this as the last thing so on top of the toilet we have two wall arts i got these wall arts from danko one was going for a hundred shillings this guy is on instagram um yeah i'll place his name on the screen i don't quite remember his name but he sells very affordable wall arts and uh those prints the music i got them from pinterest but then if you're decorating your house download pinterest it's totally free and thank me later because you will get so many ideas uh that's where i got the print printables and i went to the cyber i printed the prints and here we are <clears throat> but then these wall arts they had like a glass uh which broke so i removed the glass so that yeah 
I know it doesn't look the best but when they had I'll show you one that has glass and it looks so much better so don't worry the frames don't look like this when you get them and yeah I have to I wanted to add another one here as a tattoo but I've not gotten time to do that so it is what it is so that's how the corner looks like cuttings the toilet and then to wall art and then when you come over here we have a kitchen you guys have seen this kitchen or like those people who usually watch me have seen this kitchen so so many times but i love it um yeah so we have a sink i really hate that sink because it was looking like that when i got this house and i've tried using everything literally everything to scrub the sink and it doesn't come out so i've just given up and yeah and then we have like a dish rack this dish rack is not the best honestly it it rusts in a rust sana although i've had this for like two years so if you're looking for something cute and on a budget i think it will serve you but if you're looking for something durable look for something different than this this was going for 2k i got it from kamukunji for 2k i believe and then on top of the sink we have a cabinet this is where i place my my utensils glasses and everything else on top i just have some plastics i don't have a lot of utensils because i live alone guys so that's that and then over here we have these two floating shelves that a lot of you guys keep on asking me so i found these two floating shelves kwai nyumba and it's not only this house all the houses that zikoapa zikona these two floating shelves although on my previous house i had called a fundi na alikuwa meniekea floating shelves so you can also do that if your house doesn't have you can look for like a local fundi you show him the floating shelves and he will deliver again download pinterest because pinterest is is really it and it's totally free by the way you can get it to a play store so download that and yeah you will be happy so that's why i also got the idea to arrange the floating shelves and yeah so on the floating shelves the first one i have an empty flower vase and then i had some vines those vines i got them from house of, Le house of leather for 400 shillings yes house of leather is really the girl she thinks she is because if you're looking for anything house decor they have and they go for like really afford they are like really affordable and then uh on the second floating shelf i have these vases love laugh and love i also got them from house of leather for 200 shillings each and i got them uh kitambo guys so if you go now expecting it to cost the same yeah please <laughs> don't come for me but i think the prices have slightly changed they, they're not expensive but they go and check house of leather for those who keep on asking house of leather is located in westlands karibu nasarit center yeah i'm poor at explaining directions but that's the best i can do and then on the other side i have a pen holder i also got it from house of leather and then on the inside i just make a tutu v2 now this other wall art i also got it from danko remember i told you that the other two zenyezi mehanyo karibu na the toilet i got i got them from danko and let me show you <coughs> i'm sorry i am coming with a cold i'm coming down with a very bad cold so i'll keep on coughing <laughs> throughout the video i hope you forgive me so this wall art as you can see it has like a glass inside and it goes for a hundred shillings i don't know if the prices have changed now because i got it a while back but yeah check him check him out if you're looking for affordable wall art and then <clears throat> i just wanted to show you how the back looks like this is what you get for 100 shillings remember this is quite affordable so you'll not get like a perfect perfect uh frame so if you don't mind it looking like this numa then you can go for it this is how it looks like mbele so it's quite decent i don't mind it so if you feel like you don't mind it and you're looking for um affordable wall arts check him out So yeah, that's how those two floating shelves look like. I love them. I absolutely love them. In fact, if there's one corner that I love in this house, it's that. 
uh yeah and then down here i have like all the things i usually use on a daily to cook uh, i also got this idea from pinterest again like i've said if you're decorating your house download pinterest um <clears throat> So I have this wall frame that I got from House of Leather for around 450. It was quite affordable, but as you can see, it's quite nice. And then the thing that is inside, if you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. That one, I went to the cyber and I downloaded it. And then this, this is a fake plant. I got it from House of Leather as well for 400 shillings, guys. 400 bob. <coughs> I'm so sorry, by the way. Um, and you, as you can see, it looks so, so pretty. And it almost looks like it's real, but it's not. And then this oil dispenser, I got it from Okadeko for 190 The thing with Okadeko, you can never be too sure. Some things are like really affordable and then some things are extremely expensive. So yeah that's all i can say about okadeko that oil dispenser i got it for 190 i promise i'm not lying <laughs> uh and then this um muiko holder I'm a, what do you even call it i got it from kamukunji for 350 sugar dish salt shaker i got it from okadeko 100 200 i can't quite remember the price but it was quite affordable and then this is like a counter a counter yes i don't know how else to call it <laughs> and then down here i have my two banner my fridge that's where i've placed my banner and then my gas and the dustbin and then down i've placed like a mat to just you know i don't know what to to say about it but it does something it does something and yeah that's how the whole space looks like now that we we are done with the kitchen area let's go to the sitting area now this mirror i have gotten so many people asking me to give them the contacts of the guy who made this mirror and I don't even know the exact price I paid for it because what I did was I had another mirror that was rectangular, I believe. And then I went to him, I and then I added some cash. I don't know if that makes sense. So I can't even quite tell how much I paid for it. Also, another thing, I don't like giving out his contacts because this mirror was not made how I wanted it. As you can see, Apoju, the curve has so many dents. It's not like a straight curve. So yeah, it's not perfect work and it bothers me so much. But I have a mirror and that's what matters. Honestly, if I had money, I would change it. The same look but like a different fundi because i'm not happy with how, what he did with this so anytime anyone asks me for some contacts i'm usually like afraid because i'm like i don't want to make a number and then i'm going to buy because this this is shoddy work as you can see so i'm sorry patrick that's the name of the fundi i'm not bashing his work but as you can clearly see he messed up with this one and yeah it sucks so i don't like giving out his number because of that particular reason but yeah that's the mirror everything else is okay but the curve upon the aliaribu and that's where the aesthetic is so alinebona here but it's fine and then i have a bar stool and that's where i usually place my plant so nje ishike ipate jua but i've just placed it there but it's most of the time it's on top of the stool and then here i just have my um internet router and then this is my tv that i got from luthuli guys do you remember that story of luthuli avenue if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm going to link it uh up here you check it out but i got this tv from luthuli avenue for 23 24 I don't quite remember the price but it was very affordable and it's a 43 inch for those who keep on asking and the brand is royal i've not had a problem with this tv since i bought it Ata when i got it i didn't have a tv guard and we have a problem of light it's hectic and i hate the maker so if you're looking for something that is on a budget 
I would suggest this brand. By the way, it is a good brand. I've not had any problem with this TV. So, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the TV side. And then that's the mirror. Those are the shoes. And then we'll come here, uh, qua sitting area. So, over here, I have this chair. It's in Itangwa M.M.'s chair. I don't know how to pronounce that name. But yeah, this is how it looks like. I got it from a local place for 3k and i'm pretty sure now they've gone even down it's around 2500 you can also check on instagram they sell this year all over so yeah and then on top of the chair i've placed this far far rug that i got from easily for 1200 shillings yeah and this is how it looks like you can decorate it how you like you can even place it up a mirror you can um you can use it as a throw blanket for your bed there are so many ways you can decorate this far far rug then this is how i've chosen to decorate mine i just feel like when the chair is empty it looks so plain and boring but when the rug is there it adds a little something something it looks kind of cute and i love it and then down here i have a carpet that i got from toy market this carpet is thrifted for those who keep on asking and i got it for four thousand shillings from toy market so yeah if you're on a budget and you're looking for something affordable or thrifted i wanted oh maybe it has a mark there <laughs> just ignore that i think it's for the liangu cappuccini toy market wanakwana vitupua sana and they have thrifted like this is a carpet that i'm sure i'll not find anyone else with and that's what i was looking for i was looking for something unique yeah something cute as well and something aesthetic and i saw this one and i was like i'm taking you home i actually have a whole video on this the i have two videos for the curtains and for this rug and i'll link them down below if you want to check them out <coughs> I'm sorry, like I've said, I'll keep on saying I'm sorry because of the way I'm coughing. I keep on sana. So this table, yo, I have gotten so, so many questions about this table. And yeah, today is the day I'm going to give you the information. So this coffee table, I got it from an Instagram page. Wanajitanga. They have a, a hard name, Rosad. <coughs> Rosad rosa door limited i'm going to place their name on the screen they have really nice work by the way kitambo it was kitambo like two years ago i got it for ten thousand shillings so right now i don't know how much the price is but yeah 10k and they delivered and this table is perfect but guys i have not had any problem with it and it's light you know it's quite light so you can move it around check them out and support them if you're looking for for something cute they have so many designs you can check their page and decide what you want and but they trust them because i remember i was also skeptical when they told me to send money it's an instagram page so how am i sending like 5k and i don't even know you so i just nikamua took what trust and they delivered so trust them they are the real deal so yeah and then on top of the coffee table i have some coffee books as you can see i also got them from an instagram page i don't remember the name but they were very affordable they were going for 350 and i do know that coffee books squeeze in like 500 or 1000 you know so one coffee table is ysl and the other the other one is Tom ford i love that combination so much and yeah pinterest guys pinterest so on top i have this empty vase that i've just placed there i got it from house of leather for around 400 and then these beads i also got them from an instagram page and they were affordable they were going for 400 shillings i believe and yeah and then that cadog dalmatian i got it for 250 or 300 i got these things a while back so i might be off with the prices a bit and then these coasters, I got them from Okadeko, although they are not the best. Uh, this is how they look like when they've been used. So when you're going to get coasters, I would suggest you avoid these ones. 
and then i have this other one that i got from little more this one is more durable and more practical so there's that if you're looking for posters that is and then i have a scented candle that i got from okadeko for 300 it was actually 290 so around 300 and then i have those uh fake flowers that i got from house of leather i don't quite remember the price but it was affordable and then i have a um, diffuser that i've just placed there i got this from little more very affordable as well don't quite remember the price and yeah that's the whole coffee table and then down there i've placed a pillow that i don't use i feel like it's so much better when the pillow is there and yeah that's how i've decorated the coffee table and i'm happy with that and then now we'll come to the couch side i got this couch from thicker road for 15k and then transportation was 1000 guys i was on a budget so transport was 1000 so if you're on a budget this channel is for girls who are on a budget okay so you can do that with 15k i had tried looking for couches and the prices were coming to 20k 30k for a three-seater because this is a three-seater i know the cushions nimbili but it's a three-seater and i was just getting frustrated and decided let me go to thicker road and i got a really nice fundi although that fundi kidogo frustrated me but i feel like he delivered the, the couch is decent and it's nice not taking kaliwa haikunjani you know how those um Kuna cushions ukika zina kunjana zina kavi, but I don't know how to explain. But this is quite decent. And then the cushions I've had this couch for almost two years, and as you can see, nini hizo cushions azijaisha. So this is a fundi I would recommend. Um, yeah, he delivers. Although keep on checking on him, cause you know fundis. The thing is, this couch ilikuwa I wanted a gray, a light gray couch. And then I don't know how he confused the material. I can let take your green. This is green fantasy. This is I don't know which color this is. Usually it's a fantasia or whatever. But yeah, apart from him messing up with the color of the couch, everything else was okay. So Ukimpiakazi just check on him. I'll leave his contacts in the description box. And then this pillow, it's just a normal pillow that I got from Kamukunji for 200 shillings. Kamukunji wanu uzanga pillow pillows at a very affordable price even pillowcases but that pillowcase i got it from an instagram page for like 800 shillings and i was not mad because i have been looking for such pillowcases for such a long time let me get closer so that you can see the texture yeah yeah so that teddy texture i've been looking for such a uh, pillowcase so when i saw it i was like 800 is such a steal for such a pillowcase and then this other throw blanket i got it from gikomba for 200 and if 150 how much was it and i just bought it recently and i have completely forgotten 150 i'm at 200 but around there it wasn't expensive and then right at the corner i have just some miscellaneous things and then that's on top is my laptop those are clothes that i don't wear i've been meaning to give them out but i don't get time <clears throat> so they are there and yeah that's the whole kitchen let me kitchen sitting area let me get back so that you can see it's a pretty simple house honestly um i've been meaning to buy bus tools i keep on saying that so much guys please watch the ads so that i can be able to afford bus tools please <coughs> yeah so nikki buy bus tools like it will look so nice if there are some two bus tools so kindly just watch the ads okay <laughs> just watch the ads and then this other corner i have this mirror this mirror i found it kwanyumba and then down there i have this uh canvas basket that i got from smart lady home for 350 yeah i remember it was very affordable and then i've just placed a pillow there inside the canvas basket i just have some miscellaneous things that nimeka to away so everything I, I don't use, I put, the, I put it there. 
Uh, yeah, I've been meaning to buy a TV stand. Niki buy TV stand is miscellaneous things because I have books and things that I write on. Nitazi panga kwa TV stand. Guys, kindly just watch the ads. You know, I mean, you want one ad or two. I know ads are annoying, but that's how we get paid. So, yeah, there's that. And then at the corner, we have my closet, and that's how it looks like. It's not the most arranged but yeah it's decent i have a video of me arranging my closet so if you're interested in watching that i'll also link it up somewhere so that you can check it out and then at the corner i have an empty basket i told you guys anytime you see this basket if you are empty just know that i've washed <laughs> my clothes these are the other curtains that I was talking about. I love these curtains so, so much. And I'm so happy that I went for shears. But I also got like another shear, shear, kabisa, sasa. <clears throat> so, shear curtain, yenye konyuma. And then these are also shear curtains, but a different texture and a bit heavier, as you can see. So, yeah. And it's a pretty huge window and the curtains look great, honestly. And then here is my bed. And yeah, pretty basic. I have a throw blanket that I thrifted from Naivasha. Kitambo, kitambo sana. And then we have some pillows. Those three, four pillows, I got them from Kamukunji for 200 shillings. 200 to 50. I don't know how much the price is right now because I feel like everything has just short everything is so expensive nowadays so these prices have in mind that nearly buy kitambo so if you are looking for something similar ukipata the price has slightly changed just know that's the reason and then the pillowcases the three these three lash out lash out and the one in the middle i got them from kamukunji for 250 this far one i got it from isili for 600 shillings i don't know why this far this far <clears throat> nini the expensive but it's it's good quality honestly for 600 it's good honestly it's a value for your money and i love it so much and then at the back i just have some pillows that i use and yeah that's basically how my bed looks like pretty basic and yeah kindly just watch the ad so that i can afford to buy a new bed okay thank you <laughs> and then on top i have placed some vines now these ones were not for the last video that i made i feel like this wall looks a bit empty so i placed these vines there to go on top of my bed and i have not gotten time to buy more vines I, I feel like they would look so much better if they were like longer you know um so yeah that's how the bed looks like and then the vines, Zikoju. These vines, I got them from House of Leather again. House of Leather, House of Leather is the plug. And then right here, I just have an empty wall. And I have been wanting to decorate it for the longest time. But I haven't gotten time to do that. But yeah. And then on top, I just have a light that is just pretty basic. Speaking of lights, um, I don't know why I forgot. But Hapa Kwa Kitchen, these lights change color. So that's the blue, another blue, and then there are actually three. And I love that so much. Guys, I had almost forgotten to show you the toilet. <laughs> but yeah, um, at the door I've placed this uh, towel hook that I got from House of Leather again. And at first I was skeptical because I got it in gold and I thought it would like rust or something. Because Sengina, I place clothes that have water there and it's totally intact. So this is a good purchase. I got it for 500 shillings. So we have a towel and then my shower cap. This is a brush that I use to scrub my back and it gets the job done. I got it from um, um, Du Bois for 150, quite affordable. And then my towel, shower cap, I've already said that. Then this is how my toilet looks like. Nothing major. So we have a sink, a toilet, and then my tissue holder, and then my toothbrush holder. These are the buckets that I use to clean my toilet. 
and then that's basically it those are the things that i use to clean myself and yeah it's a pretty decent toilet it's not big it's not small oh and then on top i have a shower what is it called yeah that one you can see it it comes with the house i didn't have to buy i know some houses and yet they don't have this so yeah and then on top we have that rack you i think you're supposed to put like um curtain what are they called bathroom whatever you know my brain cells are not working right now and then we have a light that's basically it that's the toilet <coughs> and yeah I don't know how I had forgotten to show you that toilet by the way so yeah all right you guys so we've come to the end of the video I hope you enjoyed watching I'll also remind you to kindly like the video and yeah any information that you'll need will be down in the description box but in case you feel like you need some clarification on something just comment or just DM me and I will respond <coughs> I will respond. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next video.